My conduct and conversations during the next several hours make no sense to me at all. According to police, eight hours elapsed from the time of the accident until he showed up at the police station to report it. A spokesman for the senator said he might attend the funeral for Miss Cofecne tomorrow at Plymouth, Pennsylvania. A hearing of the charge against Senator Kennedy has been scheduled for next Monday. Today, police moved to prosecute the senator on a charge of leaving the scene of an accident. This morning, I entered a plea of guilty to the charge of leaving the scene of an accident. I regard as indefensible the fact that I did not report the accident to the police immediately. These events, the publicity, innuendo, and whispers which have surrounded them, and my admission of guilt this morning raises the question in my mind of whether my standing among the people of my state has been so impaired that I should resign my seat in the United States Senate. I've been impacted by a number of tragedies in my life the loss of life of people, the members of my family. Those were circumstances which uh, I really didn't have control. I could feel the sense of regret and the sense of sadness and the sense of loss. But this was a circumstance from which I did have a responsibility. In that sense, it was quite different from other life's experience. Senator Kennedy returned to the Senate for the first time since his automobile accident. And seldom has a return to work been marked by such public attention. Kennedy said last night he had decided not to resign from the Senate. I made the decision to continue in public life after the tragedy of Chappaquiddick. Uh, I'm a very different person than uh, prior to that tragedy. Uh, the way that uh, I'm a different person, I think, is probably reflected in my own view about uh, sort of life and people and faith in God. But I'm, I'm a, a different person.